If you love storytelling, I think you're really going to love Cuba more because it is a beautiful um, love story. It's a story about two Americans who journey to Cuba and when they get to Cuba, they each meet someone from Cuba who they fall in love with. And as they start to fall in love with each other, they sort of get lost in Havana and have to explore what the cultural divide means to each of them. It's kind of a Midsummer Night's Dream set in Cuba. We wanted to really explore the idea of love overcoming all kinds of obstacles. Uh, obstacles that we put in place ourselves, but also obstacles of, uh, of politics and, and culture as well. And that's really at the heart of Cuba Amor, that love can transcend all of these things. Cuba Amor has fantastic music in it. Uh, it's a, a jazz-based Afro-Cuban score, uh, the kind of thing we don't hear often on stage. Cuba Amor is vibrant, yeah. and Cuba Amor is filled with passion. We truly wanted to, to showcase the passion and the vibrance of Cuba. People from two opposite parts of the world, they find love, they find it through music, they find it through dance, they find it through uh, spiritual traditions. Our cultures are remarkably different and we actually have a lot we could learn from each other. And I think that's primarily what this play is exploring, is that despite cultural differences, people always have something they can learn from somebody else, no matter how different they are. And that there are always similarities and that people are people. You learn that we're more alike than we are different and I think there's something very refreshing about that. So bridging that divide uh, through love and compassion and conversation uh, is one way of uh, learning more about yourself.